another NBA video on well the fiasco of DeAndre Jordan and um, the whole Mantrium um, period was a disaster and I could see this being challenged for next year um, biggest winner Clippers because they had no other options they would have had to play Blake Griffin as center and He's only six foot nine on their roster when they didn't have DeAndre Jordan, and when you look at other available centers before Enos Kanter was signed today, they didn't have much uh, options out there, and they couldn't get Cantor because he got a max contract offer from uh, Portland Trailblazers. So obviously, um, Oklahoma City will probably match it. So. And the Clippers didn't have any cap space. They were up against the cap. So they would have had to trade, um, what's his name, uh, Jordan Crawford to try to find someone to match the salary for Jordan, um, Jamal Crawford. So right there, and, and they there was no good prominent free agents uh, at the center position. But I guess the Clippers would have had to play more small ball because, well, they would have been forced to. Um, right now, the Clippers do need to get another big man behind DeAndre Jordan uh, to make this or fill out this roster still because they got rid of Spencer Halls. Now, the, the I feel bad for the flip uh, the maps. Um, Mark Cuban thought he had. Uh, DeAndre Jordan and that kind of messed things up totally horribly wrong for the Mavs uh, and the Mavs got the short end of the stick this is why I think they should get rid of the seven day uh, matrium period and just because then you got players even in the past this is not the first time DeAndre uh, or a player like anybody from the NBA did not uh, decline or change their mind. He though took Turkaloo did that. Uh, there's been some other players, but nobody that I could think of that was a max player like DeAndre Jordan that pulled this off. Uh, that said, "Hey, I changed my mind." Uh, so that really hurts, especially this was at the very last minute that pretty much all the centers and everybody got traded. Now. Mark Cuban said if they could not get a big free agent like DeAndre Jordan and Wesley Matthews to fill out their roster, they were going to actually use that $20 million in space and cap and just actually probably tank this year. Uh, to kind of put it kindly, tank this year and then hope to have a player like Tim Duncan. So their example was David Robinson year when they... Uh, tanked and lost and then the following year uh, got Tim Duncan and won championship that way well that's what Mark Cuban was saying well we could tank for one year and try to because they're in a really tough situation they made that trade for Rajon Rondo and gave up their 2016 first round draft pick now with that if you think about it they gave that up, and and they probably thought, well, we're going to be a lot better, and that's fine. We're we're not going. We're going to make it to the playoffs. We're not going. We're going to build off this season and and get better. But now they're probably going to be stuck in the middle uh, and lose that draft pick or be close. It's a protected first seven picks. So if they tank enough to get down to the top seven, they get to keep their pick. Now. That's the only uh, way, but they might get so bad that they could probably be between seven and eleven. Uh, but there's probably still enough bad teams that from the East that you got pretty much tank really bad, like the seventy sixers that where it's obvious you're going to, you're going to have to make it that way. So it's not really fair for Dirk Nowitzki, uh, Chandler Parsons. Uh, those are two players I, I th oh and actually Wesley Matthews because he just signed there thinking hey we got DeAndre Jordan coming in we got some players now you gotta fill out that roster and you lost Monte Ellis already too you lost Tyson Chandler it, it might be their first time 
finishing below 500 since I think they said 2000. I, I think I did the research. That's been a while, and the Dallas Mavericks have been a really great organization on the way they oh, it's ever since Mark Cuban bought the team, and so uh, this must be a really hard pill to swallow as a uh, for any Mavs fans and any uh, Mark Cuban fan or I know a lot of people thought, hey, well, at least Mark Cuban got what he deserved. Well, if you were the owner and you got a handshake from a player, and now you can't, if this continues, now you got other owners going to be like, how can I trust this uh, player going to stick around and keep his word? Now, you got to think, this opened up Pandora box, if you think about it. DeAndre Jordan kind of said, hey, I, I don't have to talk to you ever. Um, I, I thought he just handled it poorly, and the way he executed is like LeBron James' execution of the decision. You didn't have for you. You should have had some respect uh, of keeping a person's word or man's word, and at least reached out to him and said, "Hey, I think I made a big mistake. Um, I think I want to change my mind and still." stay with the Clippers. That's all you have to do. You didn't even bother texting or return a phone call or anything. And that makes things even worse. And just, it was very classless. Uh, that's what I thought in that sense. Um, I have no problem him, of him changing his mind because obviously it's a big decision and it's a life changer. Um, and so for him to not even when he said to Mark Cuban, hey, build this team around me. I'm the future for you. Well, when he started trying to think and piece things together by getting shooters and stuff like that, then you just left the Mavs high and dry, and now they're, in reality, they're probably in the rebuilding mode. Um, that's what, if I was Mark Cuban, you're probably going to have to consider rebuilding because everybody else in the West pretty much got better and you got worse once you got once you lost DeAndre Jordan because you lost out Tyson Chandler you lost out uh, Monte Ellis and that's going to really hurt because you had those players that got you into the playoffs you don't even have Amari Stoutmeyer and you might be overpaying for him at this rate so that's my thought of this whole situation go ahead and like share comment and subscribe on what you thought of that whole fiasco and the way it went down. Go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe for more NBA videos and anything NBA related. Thanks.